Sunday marks one year since the longest track tornado in Iowa in almost four decades. The winter set EF4. It was the costliest tornado in the United States in 2022, causing nearly a quarter of a billion dollars in damage. Six people lost their lives that day. Local 5 meteorologist Dave Downey had a chance to talk to heroes and survivors for their reflections on the past year. Here's part one of Madison County Strong one year later. You won't hear the names of those who died on March 5th. Opening wounds that are still being closed was absolutely not the goal of what this series was for me. But telling the untold stories of the heroes and survivors of that Saturday night, that was the ultimate objective. Every community has its warriors on their streets. The deputies that were off that day, they called in here and they didn't hesitate. I asked my dispatcher where, where, I, would, where I needed to go. In hospitals. And one of our nurses actually had made a comment like, hey, what would we do um, if a tornado hit? Watching an unprecedented event unfold in their community. I don't know if we're there yet as a meteorology community to be able to predict something that strong yet that early in the season, and certainly that's a challenge. The day before at work, I thought, I was just having a bad day at work. And I put on a post on Facebook that said, what is everybody gonna do this weekend? I'm gonna win the lottery. But this wasn't the lottery anyone wanted to win. We did know for several days that it had a good setup for severe weather, and certainly there was tornadoes were potential as well with that. I wanna say about 3, 3, 3.45, I got a phone call from the Weather Service letting us know that there was a tornado that's possibly gonna hit Hexburg. 4.15, we got the first alert from the National Weather Service, and then 15 minutes later, about 4.36, the tornado was on the ground. Uh, about 4.35 is when the tornado was spotted and touched down uh, near Panama Park. It would end up being the deadliest tornado in Iowa since the Parkersburg EF5 in 2008. All six deaths from the long track EF4 tornado occurred in Madison County. After rapidly intensifying just south of Winterset, the tornado weakened to an EF2 as it hit the southern suburbs of Des Moines, Norwalk, and Pleasant Hill. Finally, at 6 p.m., the tornado lifted just north of Newton. Yeah, just staying on the ground for over 70 miles and for 94 minutes is just extraordinary, especially up here. A path of devastation spanning four counties, causing nearly a quarter of a billion dollars in damage. The costliest tornado in the United States in 2022. From 4.30 to just after 5 o'clock that Saturday, parts of Madison County would endure hell on Earth. While we were in the greenhouse, our tornado warning alerts went off on our phone and uh, uh, we both kind of looked at each other like, what? The next thing I know, I thought I'd move my car under, under the garage in case it hailed. And then I could, I could hear the, the train coming down the road and that's when I, I knew the tornado was coming. By the time I got back in the basement, looked back out, I seen all the trees take off. Madison County 911, what's the location of your emergency? There is a tornado on the ground behind the fairgrounds. Debris everywhere. Thursday night, hear minute by minute accounts from survivors. What they heard, saw, and felt, plus body cam video of the heroes first on the scene to the aftermath. And well, what we are learning from this is so profound. It's taking five uh, separate installments of this yeah. to tell these stories effectively. Yeah. And, and it gives me chills just mm -hmm. watching that. And it's going to be a, a great series. So tune yes. in for that. And you get the whole thing, of course, uh, on WeAreIowa.com. Absolutely.